me telling this story is actually so personal like i normally don't talk about this that she passed away it was the fact that i was not even able to say goodbye to her that was literally the, even harder than the fact that she was gone um how do you guys feel about um the death of boss man as well because that really hit me differently i didn't expect it to hit me as hard as it did oh i'm getting theory eyed hi guys and um, welcome back to my channel so in a little bit you will see me create this makeup look um this is the look that i was going for like a soft glam makeup look like really looking like you know fresh and nice and beat um and i hope you guys really enjoyed this video if you guys did do please like comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get in this video bye welcome back to my channel so today we're doing a full face of makeup yay um so we're just gonna have a chit chat a little bit about where i've been and whatnot so let's just get straight into it um so yeah so i've been gone for i think by the time i upload this video um i'm not sure if i'll put up the vlog first or this video but by the time this video will be up i would have been gone for like a month or a bit long and a bit longer like a month and longer um at that point and it's not really my fault but it's also my fault um i had exams we were doing our exams online and it just didn't work out technical difficulties i get i guess i'm sure um most people saw the issues that we were having with patients and stuff oh, yeah patients because they were the providers of our um exam um online exam and stuff there were the providers and it just wasn't going as planned it's crazy how quick summer just literally just went by like normally summer i feel like summer is so so long and i feel like because of like the um what do you what you call it because of covid and stuff like summer was so like strange and stuff and now we're back to winter like i feel like winter was literally yesterday and we're back there again like back to winter like and that's just i don't know not something i look forward to i really wanted to have like a great summer like this summer was meant to be like one of the best summers that was meant to happen and um that literally just didn't happen because of covid and i can't lie i'm well upset about that um because i had so so much plans so many so much i had so many plans um for this period and that literally just went out the window so quick it's actually ridiculous how quick it went out the window um I'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm upset about that but what can i do you know what i mean apart from pray and i'm so happy to we kept safe in this moment in time as well so i'm really happy about that yeah what have you guys been up to like because I, I haven't been up to much um because this summer this summer first this summer was cancelled and then it was actually cancelled for me because um of my exams and stuff and now i feel like my life is just basically on hold um well most of my life is on hold like because i'm i'm not sure what is what and whatnot so I'm just kind of like in that stage where you know when you're not sure what's, what, what's happening how do you guys feel about um the death of boss man as well because that really hit me differently I didn't expect it to hit me as hard as it did um it hit me differently I was I was really shocked that he was so ill I didn't even notice that he lost weight and everything like that um when people showed me like pictures of him like being really skinny i was really shocked i was really like whoa how did how did i not notice this um so that really like shocked me to the core um i actually hope that you know he en enters into heaven and um like all the best with his family because obviously he married his um girlfriend as well so i'm really hoping like that all the best to his family and stuff because that's just like a horrible thing to happen to anyone like when my mom passed away um 
I had such a horrible time um, and I felt like I couldn't speak to anyone about it so let's actually talk about that so my mom passed away sorry if you hear anything in the background so my mom passed away let's say seven years ago um, yeah she passed away when I was 18 and um, because of that we moved to the um, UK and um, I had re a really hard time um, because I felt like I couldn't speak to anyone about how I was feeling um, I was angry that I had to move um, I was angry that I, I felt really alone as well like I was angry that I was leaving my friends behind I was angry I was just really angry as uh, at 18 years old that my mom passed away that I was like why does my mom have to have to go um, so like and it wasn't a thing whereby she was ill or anything it was really sudden so for me to notice that she he passed away as well um, and obviously because I didn't know that well most people didn't know that he was ill um, it brought back that, that emotion whereby I was like whoa like life is actually really short and you know what when I, when my mom passed away like my friends were actually so good to me like I'm sure that um, looking back at it now like I, I'm sure that I could have spoken to them about how I was feeling I just felt like I couldn't because I felt like they wouldn't understand they would feel sorry for me or something and looking back at it now I'm like if, even if they felt sorry for me um, I feel like as black women we, we always feel like nobody should be feeling sorry for us and that's not that's not true like just because they feel sorry for you doesn't or yeah feel sorry for you doesn't doesn't take away from the fact that you something um horrible happened to you so yeah so when my mom passed away i was i was a, i was actually horrible for a really long time um i was mean um yeah i was really mean when my mom passed away because i didn't understand why my mom my mom had to go like there were so many people out here that were doing evil and blah blah and i was like why my mom like why her she she has literally done nothing to anyone at any point in her life like she was always been so kind so nice like a prayerful person and everything so when she passed away and especially because so i saw her in the morning i only saw her face in the morning and i basically ran out of the house because i had um in placement as you guys call it here yeah Pla i had placement i'd saved money for, um we were meant to go into the ce like the day after and um, buy some ox for her because i was just like oh mom needs to be treated like i was gonna take her out to do her hair and everything because she hadn't done her hair in a really long time like my mom was a really really hard worker me telling this story is actually so personal like i normally don't talk about this and even talking about it with while I was doing my makeup is actually so crazy to me because I didn't I didn't think that I would ever be able to tell this story without having tears in my eyes because it's such a hard it was such a hard time for me um moving to the different countries um learning a different language and it is English and my English like if you're from a foreign country where you speak a different language and you come to England quite often to and you speak English but like when I was actually here like I would try so hard to like make sure that everyone understood what I was saying and stuff and it would just be so exhausting so obviously it was a really difficult time for me um, being here and stuff um, so yeah she passed away and I was actually so sad like um, I literally I would cry like every evening like every evening I would be crying and nobody would know that i would be crying and stuff but like i would literally be crying every evening like it was crazy how much i would cry because i would, it wasn't even a cry whereby i was like oh my mom passed away and stuff but it was a cry whereby i was like oh my gosh like she's actually gone and like i feel like people that have lost their parents um at a young age will understand that like you know that feeling whereby you're just like raw like I'm actually never going to see her again until um, the day comes whereby I pass away or, or or Jesus comes type of thing. Um, 
so I was just I was so sad like and obviously everybody is there and they're kind of like talking to you but they're not really talking to you like they they kind of think they know how you feel and stuff and you're just like no you don't know how I feel because it's not your mom that has passed away type of thing and that's literally how I felt like every day like even like like I'll speak to my little sister obviously and stuff and she would she would we would talk about my, my mom and stuff and that would be like the only comfort I, I would have so even when I moved here like I would we wouldn't speak about my mom too much and that really took a toll out of me because I wanted to speak about my mom like I wanted to like talk about her like I've been those things out that were so near and dear to my heart and like recordings and stuff for my mum and stuff that I would never hear again like a voice that I would never hear again so and especially because it was a, like I feel like the the hardest thing out of the whole situation was the fact that not even the fact that she passed away it was the fact that I was not even able to say goodbye to her that was literally the even harder than the fact that she was gone um i wouldn't be able to say like oh um i'll see you soon like it's okay and all of that stuff like i'll be okay and all of that stuff like oh i'm getting theory eyed but yeah that was like such a difficult time for me um i'm not even telling the story like perfectly the only person i speak with about these stuff um it's literally my boyfriend and that's it like nobody else like because obviously they know that my mom passed away and they know all of that stuff but like i always feel like even though they know they will never understand and my boyfriend and people that yeah like they know but they don't understand that's that's the feeling that i have with that and until until you go past like even people that have gone through it will not understand because like every situation is so different they have lost their mom to like for example cancer or something and they always say like i think it's all it's different for everybody else but it's especially different when you didn't even see it coming like when they when they had like issues and like um heart issues or had cancer and stuff things like that at least you, you saw it coming like you knew that it was going to happen at some point like and at some point soon like at any point you know that this could be the last time so you you make sure that the goodbyes are um you make sure that the good you make sure that the goodbyes are um you know a goodbye like oh my gosh like this might be the last time but i'm saying goodbye so you know that i love you or so i know that you love me type of thing so yeah um it's definitely very different and hard and all of that stuff i'm sure you guys know about this as well but like um when um what's her name nicole nicole tia nicole tia passed away as well like i would not like i don't like talking about these people that when they pass away because it's so difficult to talk about this stuff because it, her death was really sudden as well and like i feel i feel for um her boyfriend Boga so much because i was just like oh my gosh like he didn't not he didn't just lose his girlfriend he lost a baby as well like he lost his baby as well like it's so hard for you to be to be able to say like i, f I know what you mean I, I understand what you're going through because he, that death is again different so you don't know um how they feel and you don't know um if they will get out of it like they always like to say like oh you'll be fine like you'll get out of it blah blah and i'm just like how do you know they'll get out of it how do you know like you don't know like in that moment in time you feel like it will never be the same and it would never be the same again that's the truth like it would never be the same again Like it will actually never be the same again so how can you tell them like oh yeah i understand when you realistically don't actually understand because you're not in their shoes i was a really angry person for a really long time like people wouldn't know how angry i was like i would like even to this day like i get so upset at the fact that she's actually gone 
because I had so much more I wanted so much more time with her like I wanted her to see me get married I wanted her to see her grandchildren if I had any if I have any like I wanted to see like I wanted I wanted to learn so much more from her and and you know that kind of stuff will forever be with me because I'll forever be like oh I wish you were still here and I wish you understand you you taught me this and I wish you were here to so I can ask you for advice there's something going on with like a church and stuff like um, I forgot his name but he's been sleeping like with his members and stuff that literally pissed me off as well like I was just like you're giving such a bad name to the body of Christ like the body of Christ is such a beautiful we're such beautiful people and we have so many things going on for ourselves and stuff and I just get really upset when things happen where I'm, I'm just like like people will start thinking that God is not real like because of people that do things like that you know what I mean sleeping with sleeping with their um with the congregation and stuff and telling them that it's okay to be sleeping with, pe with people and all of that stuff and you're just there like yo like and you 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 think to yourself like oh yeah these people are just dumb and stuff and I'll, I'll just be like yeah the word dumb and yeah um that is true that they should have known better and stuff but like you have to have a bit of sympathy you have to believe that um they genuinely believed in this man like they literally had so much faith in this man that when he would say stuff like they like they thought that he was having a revelation and i feel like people forget that you know in church like sometimes we believe our the men of god so easily because they have revelations from god and like certain revelations and we think that they're the only ones that can have revelations no obviously we can have revelations as well but like sometimes i feel like we forget that these are things that can happen um in a place where you don't read your bible and even if you read your bible like like i'm sure like there were so many people there that would read their bibles and just thought to themselves like listen you just had a revelation from god that's the thing like it is not he's not saying anything bad like he, he had a revelation for god who are we to say anything and sometimes you have to think to yourself like no i'm i'm in the bible it says that you can you can actually question what the word what the uh, man of god is saying like you can actually question him and if you don't want to question him and you think that what he's saying is right or anything like that that's your own but like when you question him and he, and he condemns you for it then you definitely know like what he's saying was wrong because why is he condemning you for it because for asking him questions about what he's saying you know what i mean but yeah i feel like we're so judgmental towards certain people and that's why they they'll keep quiet and suffer suffer in silence and that shouldn't be the case that should definitely not be the case you know what i mean the case should be that we should be so open and friendly and so and nice to each other that even when men of god are out there like lying to them they won't take it lying down you know what i mean but how many times have you gone to university or have you gone to school or whatever or college or whatever or just even gone to work and they have done an induction and they have done an induction and you have literally thought to yourself like oh yeah this is just right you didn't question it or anything like you didn't ask questions you didn't question anything like anything they said you were just like yeah cool i'll do that that's fine that's the same thing that's go gone for the that is for them like just because they took it um they took in without a pinch of salt they just took it as it is doesn't mean that they were dumb or anything it just means that they trusted in that man they literally trusted in him and he betrayed their trust and i feel like i feel like people need to understand that that they actually trusted in this man and this man betrayed their trust and if people don't understand that if the especially the body of god doesn't um us the body of god don't understand that then we are lost people then we are so so lost because there's so many times whereby we have literally believed people just like that and nothing no reprimand no nothing so if we can just believe people just like that why would they not believe their pastor just like that 
again moving on to like Megan Thee Stallion and um how that guy what's his name Tory Lanez literally just shot her and people were saying like oh yeah it would never be me like boy it could literally be you tomorrow it could literally be you tomorrow you never know like especially in america it could literally be you tomorrow like there are children here in the uk being stabbed left right and center and they didn't even see it coming and you're saying you're saying that it would never be you babe it could literally be you tomorrow it could literally be you tomorrow and you should you people need to understand that it could actually be them like anything that happens to other people it could be them as well like even if you think that it could never be you like i'm telling you for free right now that it could be I'm telling you for free like it could actually be you with the pasta thing like i'm just like i'm just upset because the, it's putting like it's giving the body of christ a bad name a bad reputation but other than that like i'm just like i'm happy that it's out and i'm happy that hopefully people in that congregation will know that listen what this man is teaching you is not the case like um like this man is asking for money um before he prophesies and stuff like that's not how it's meant to go that's not how it's meant to go like um if you don't want to prophesy like how, how can you tell me that oh yeah let me make money um out of my gift like yeah and let's talk about Megan Thee Stallion being shot that was horrible um I feel really sad that she got shot um when I heard it and when she confirmed it I was really upset I was really like draw like what kind of man shoots a woman in general and then what kind of man sh would shoot Megan Thee Stallion as well like what would what was the reason type of thing like what was the reason like for real for real what was the reason like like firstly why would you shoot somebody could be that she did something because we were saying like oh yeah maybe she did something da, da, da. and just because um she did something doesn't mean that she deserves to be shot anyways i'm just gonna put on my lashes and i'll be back so yeah got my lashes on um doing my under water Waterline as well now. Um, so yeah, that's done. What do we do after? Oh, mascara! <laughs> Forgot to put on my mascara, but anyways, yeah, so that's actually basically the end of this video. Um, we've spoken for a really long time. I'm gonna try and condense it to a short amount of time, so I'm just gonna light my lip. spoke a little bit and um that is literally what i want to show you i want to show you guys like a different side to me like um obviously speaking about this personal thing i'm still really sad about this obviously and um actually um therapy has really helped for me to like get over not over but like deal with my emotions in a different way um something that a lot of people don't know that is that you can actually get like at least six weeks free therapy from the NHS so if you kind of like feel like you really need it like even though there's like a waiting list and stuff like if you feel like you really need it and it's really urgent and stuff like just refer yourself to um, any of these people and they will be happy to help you um, move forward with your life and get gain so much um, insight in what you kind of like need he really enjoyed it this is actually more to the true color of 
what I actually look like at the moment so I'm not sure what happened with the other settings um, my settings keep changing when the light comes when the sun comes and then when the sun goes and stuff so okay this outro is going too long so yeah like comment and subscribe and I hope